Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this tutorial, we will discuss the compare instructions, which is used to compare the states of two devices, whether it is greater than, less than, equal to, or not equal to. These are the different kinds of instructions. Checking the status of a bit device like input and relays can be achieved with basic logic instructions because these devices can only have two states 0 and 1 bit devices relays and inputs can be used to compare the bit values however you will also often want to check the contents of word devices before doing something we can also compare the word devices which contains the 32 bit 16 bit and double word 32 bit values for example switching on a cooling fan when a specified set point temperature is exceeded the controllers of the melsi family provide a number of different ways to compare data cmp is the comparison instruction which is which is used to compare the data whether it is greater than less than equal to or not equal to here is a program how we can use this instruction this is input and this instruction cmp d0 is the first data source it will compare its data with the k100 and the result will be stored in m0 m1 and m2 cmp is used to compare three values if d0 is greater than k100 then it will set the relay m0 if d0 is equal to k100 it will set the relay m1 and if d0 is greater than uh, is less than k100 it will set the relay m2 for the first three consecutive relays are outputs which are set status 1 depending on the result of the comparison device 1 on if the value is 1 is greater than value 2 the device 2 turn on when the value immediately device 1 means relay m0 device 2 means relay m1 it will be set 1 when the value is equal to value 2 and device 3 relay 2 is turn on if the value 1 is less than value 2 in the example above in this example in this example it is saying that cmp instruction control relays m0 m1 and m2 m0 is set 1 if the content of the d0 is greater than 100 as i have discussed here if it is greater than 100 m1 will be set to 1 m1 is set to 1 if the content of d0 is precisely 100 and m <coughs> if the content of d0 is greater than 100 m1 is set 1 if the content of d0 is precisely 100 and equal to and m2 is then set to 1 if d0 is less than 100 then the state of the third relay bit device is maintained even after the is th set to 1 and the state of the any if the d0 is greater than k100 value then m0 will be turned on if it is equal to this value it will be m1 m, m1 will be on and if this value is less than the k100 value then the m2 will be turned on and if you turn off the input switch then the values will be maintained the state of the three bit device is maintained even after the input condition has been switched off because this last state is stored in the similar way you can also compare 32 bit data you just use dcmp instead of cmp how you can compare this is an input and here is a command for dcmp d0 d2 and m0 in this example above the contents of d0 because d0 is a 16 bit it will take the next register d1 so d0 and d1 the data in d0 and d1 will be compared with the data of d2 and d3 are compared with the data of d2 and d3 the handling of the three bit devices indicating the result of the comparison is exactly the same as for the 16 bit of the instruction and the result will be stored in m0 in the similar way if d0 and d1 value is greater than d2 and d3 m0 will be on and if it is equal to m1 will be on and if it is less than then m2 will be on in the similar way it is easy to create a two point control loop with the cmp instruction it has given an example here how this example works for example m8000 special relay it is turned on when the plc is in the program state or in the running state cmp comparison of d20 and k22 will be made with this command when and the results the results will be stored in m20 m21 and m22 when d20 is greater than k22 the result will be stored in m when d20 is equal to k22 the result will be stored in m21 and when d20 is less than k22 the result will be stored in 22 or it will turn on m in the other words when this is less than this m20 will be set to 1 when this is equal to this m21 is set to 1 and when this is less than this then m22 will be set to 1 so when m20 is set to 1 the it will reset y0 which is which is a fan or maybe any other thing and when m22 is set to 1 it will when m20 is set it will it will turn off y0 when m22 is turned on or is set to 1 it will turn on y0 in the example cmp instruction is ex executed cyclically m8000 is always 1 when the plc is executing the program register d20 contains the value for the current room temperature d20 has the value for current room temperature constant k22 contains the set point value of 22 degree centigrade relays m20 and m22 show when the temperature goes higher or lower than the set point this is the set point k22 when temperature goes higher than this then m20 will be 
turn on m20 will reset the this y0 then it is goes lesser than 22 degree centigrade it will turn it off or it will set uh, uh, then m22 will be set to 1 and this will set the y0 again register d20 contains the value for the current room temperature constant k is used for uh, set point value relays m20 and m22 shows when the temperature goes higher or lower than the set point if the room is too warm out output y0 is switched off when room is too off then this will be reset or it will be turned off with the m20 because when this video goes higher than this if the temperature is too low m22 switches off switches output switches output y0 on again this output could be used to control a pump for adding hot water for example when this video is lesser than 22 k22 then the m22 will be turned on which will set this pump again or which this device again so this can it is saying that this example can be used to control a pump for adding hot water comparison within logic operations two logic operations can also logic operations can also be used for comparison in this paragraph it is saying that how we can compare it is the example in which you can better understand comparison at the beginning of a logic operation when we add this is the command of greater than equal to it will compare d40 with d50 when the value of d40 is greater than equal to or equal to d50 then the this output will be turned on in the similar way we can use equal to value before here we can use equal to value individually greater than value individually less than value individually and not value individually here you can see all the values compare for equals this will compare for greater than value 1 is greater than value 2 compare for less than this instruction is wrong this is the sign of the less than 1 and value 1 is less than value 2 first one is the value 1 and second one is the value two. For value one this is and this is value two here is the comparison for not equal to this is the command for not equal to when less than equal to both the commands are used then it is used to for not equal to value and compare for less than or equal to this is less than equal to compare for greater than or equal to greater than or equal to the output these are the 16 bit instruction the output of the instruction is only set to one if the first value is greater than are equal to the second value it is saying about this this instruction this is the 16 bit, bit value that we have compared if you want to compare the 32 bit value then we need to add d before this comparison d greater than or equal to d less than d greater than and the value 1 and value 2 will be written after that here is an example of 32 bit comparison d greater than d10 d250 it will compare the value of d10 and d11 with the value of d250 and do d251 if the value of the first two registers is greater than second two registers then the output will be turned on it is taking the next register consecutively after the first register d10 and d11 d250 and d251 d specified 32 bit data the example above checks whether the content of the data registered d10 and d11 are greater than the contents of the register d250 and d251 same thing is here relay m12 this is the relay m12 is set to 1 when the value of the no, this is not relay 1 it is mentioning here these are the again values which are used for the comparison i will explain it here in the easy way these are the 32 bit values d less than counter c200 k182547 this will compare the value of the counter c200 with the numerical value of 182547 when the value of counter is less than k the value of 182547 then the output relay m53 will be turned on and if m110 is set to 1 then it will be again turned on in the similar way we can discuss an exa another example here greater than or equal to c0 d20 it will compare the counter value c0 with d20 and when c0 value is greater than or equal to d20 the output level will be turned on here greater than d10 k 2500 the value of 16 bit data register d10 is greater than the numerical value of 2500 then the and the timer t51 is also one here set to one then the output will be y3 will be turned switched on output y3 switched on when the content of d10 is greater than 2500 and timer t52 has finished running so the same thing is explained here in these two examples comparing comparison as a logic and operation we can also compare uh, two values here you can see this is an input and here is a comparison of less than equal to between the two data registers when this value the value of this first register 
is greater than is, is less than or equal to the second value d50 then the output will be turned on similar example is here and here is this comparison is with d in the, it is a 32 bit data d30 and d31 data will be compared with d4400 and d401 so when the value of first two data registers d30 and 31 is equal to the value of d400 and d401 then the output will be set to 1 id specifies this id specifies it, it is using d before the comparison so it is a 32 bit data which is being compared comparison is a logic or operation here is the logic or operation when this input is turned on and the value of counter c20 is greater than or equal to k200 when its value is greater than 200 value counter values counter 20 when its value reaches to 200 it will be turned on and if the value of counter is less than 200 it will again be turned on so for these two instructions when this is a true output will be on and in the similar way if this instruction is true it will output will again be turned on here is again a similar example with that 32 bit if the value of counter the comparison options are the same as those described above for a comparison at the beginning of an operation here too you can also compare 32 bit values within or operation this is an or operation with 32 bit value this was or operation with 16 bit values and the same thing was here and operation with 32 bit values and and operation with 16 bit values so here when the value of count to c200 is equal to the value of d10 and d11 because count is 32 bit it will take the two data registers d10 and d11 when the these two values the counter value and the value of d10 and d11 is same then output will be turned on so these are very important instruction in the next lecture we will discuss the math instruction which are also very important so stay tuned to this playlist in my youtube channel so that you can get useful from information thank you so much for watching